Welcome learners. This is lecture on inequalities on moments and alpha, beta, gamma coefficients. The learning objective of this lecture is to discuss different coefficients like alpha coefficient, beta coefficient and gamma coefficients based on moments and to derive or to prove inequalities based on moments beta 1 greater than or equal to 0, beta 2 greater than or equal to 1 and beta 2 greater than or equal to beta 1. We discuss the coefficients based on moments. On the basis of relative proportions of different moments, alpha, beta and gamma coefficients are calculated with the help of the formula. This is alpha coefficients. Alpha 1 is equal to mu 1 by sigma. We know that mu 1 is 0. First central moment is 0 always. This is alpha 1 coefficient is 0. Alpha 2 is mu 2 by sigma square where sigma square is the mean with variance and mu 2 is nothing but the variance. This gives us 1. Whereas alpha 3 is equal to mu 3 by sigma cube this is equal to mu 3 by mu 2 3 power 3 by 2. Okay. We know that this is mu 2 mu 2 into this sigma. Okay. But okay, this is mu 2 mu 3 by mu 3 mu 2 into 3 by 2. This is about alpha coefficients and whereas the beta coefficients beta 1 is equal to mu 3 square by mu 2 cube. This is alpha cube square. Root of beta 1 is equal to alpha 3. This is mu 3 by mu 2 power 3 by 2. This is alpha 3. And beta 2 is mu 4 by mu 2 square. This is alpha alpha 4. And this, this is coefficient of skewness and this is coefficient of kurtosis. And gamma 1 is equal to root of beta 1 that is equal to gamma 3. Gamma 2 is equal to beta 2 minus 3. This is equal to mu 4 minus 3 mu 2 square by mu 2 whole square. Okay. This beta 2 is equal to mu 4 by mu 2 square. From this you can get uh, this mu 4 by 3 mu 2 square by mu 2 square. These are the this alpha 4, mu 4 by mu 2 square. Nothing but gamma 2. This is nothing but gamma 2. Okay. This is the alpha, beta, gamma coefficients based on moments. Second, third, fourth, central moments. Now, show that Beta 1 greater than or equal to 0, beta 2 greater than or equal to 0. Let's first look at this beta 1 greater than or equal to 0. By definition of beta 1, mu 3 square by mu 2 cube is the definition of beta 1. Clearly, mu 2, mu 3 square, the numerator, mu 3 square is greater than or equal to 0. Here, we are squaring. Squaring any quantity either positive or negative quantity becomes positive. So, the numerator is positive. Here, variance is always positive. This variance is positive. Cube of positive is again positive. So, beta 2, positive value divided by positive value, beta 1 is, is greater than or equal to 0 always. Beta 2 is greater than or equal to 1. Show that beta 2 is greater than or equal to 1. We know that cosh squared inequality is given by summ summation a square into summation b i square is greater than or equal to summation a e into b i whole square. This is an inequality. Here let us look at for two real numbers 2 and 3. 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. 4 into 9 is 36. You see it is equal to 36. Similarly, we can test for 3 and 4. 3 square is 9, 
4 square is 16, 9 into 16 is 144, 3 into 4 is 12, 12 square is 144. So, this equation holds good for any two real numbers. This is called Cauchy squared inequality. By using this inequality, we prove beta 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Put a is equal to root fi into xi minus x bar whole square and b a is equal to root of fi in the Cauchy squared inequality. Just substitute instead of a this term instead of b root of fi. Summation instead of a i square root fi xi minus x bar whole square nothing but a a square. This is b root of fi b square. This uh, square into square over 4. This root square gets cancelled. This first term is summation fi into xi minus x bar whole power 4. The second term is root square gets cancelled, fi remains. Similarly, here, here also the square and this root gets cancelled. Okay, the square and the square, this becomes power 4, root f into root f becomes f. Okay, look here, this is summation i is equal to n to n f into f into x minus x bar whole power 4 power 4 this is square root gets cancelled this is square root gets cancelled this 2 into 2 power 4 f root f into root f f that remains here this is equal to divide this inequality with i is equal to 1 to n f i whole square on both sides this gives us the first term divided by i is equal to 1 to n f i square this first term divided by this term i is equal to 1 to n f i whole square there is nothing in right hand side look at the left left hand side i is equal to 1 to n f i and this square here we have i is equal to 1 to n f i into i is equal to 1 to n f i 1 f i gets cancelled from numerator and denominator. So here we have i is equal to this, this term only remains. This term only remains. So fi into xi minus x power x bar power 4 divided by i is equal to 1 to n fi remains in left hand sides. Here this, this square is for both the terms, whole square. Look at here, this is nothing but fourth central moment summation i is equal to 1 to n f i x i minus x bar by n this is second central moment square so this is mu 4 greater than or equal to this is mu 2 this is mu 2 square square here mu 2 square this implies mu 4 by this mu 2 square comes into the denominator mu4 by mu2 square greater than or equal to 1. Here one, rem one remains here. Here one remains becomes mu4 by mu2 square thing but beta2 greater than or equal to 1. Here square should be here. This mu2 square goes here one remains here. Hence the second inequality. And show that beta 2 greater than or equal to beta 1. This is similar. Instead of the previous terms, we need to substitute these terms in Cauchy squared inequality. Instead of ai root of fi into xi minus x bar whole square and b i is equal to root of fi into xi minus x bar. This is Cauchy squared inequality. Instead of a, substitute this. Instead of b, substitute Look here, this is a square i is equal to 1 to n fi xi minus x bar square. This is a again square power 4. Here, instead of bi, 
root of f i into x i minus x bar. This square f i, this root square gets cancelled. F i remains here. X i minus x bar square b square greater than or equal to. This is multiplying root f into root f. F remains x i minus x bar into x i minus x bar square into one term power three. This is in the Cauchy square Gini equality square. Divide with uh, i is equal to 1 to n f i whole square on both sides. This inequality. Here 1 i is equal to 1 to n f i divides this term. 1 f i divides this term. Greater than or equal to. This is in the denominator. This is square goes here. In the numerator i is equal to 1 to n f i remains. Square goes here. Look here, this is nothing but mu4, this is mu2, this is fourth central moment, second central moment and inside this is third central moment square. mu4 to mu2 greater than or equal to this is mu2, mu3, this is mu3 whole square. Okay, divide with the mu2 cube on both sides. Divide this is this with the mu2 cube and this also with the mu2 cube. This gets and 1 mu2 in the numerator, 1 mu2 in the denominator gets cancelled. Mu4, mu2, 1 mu2, mu2 square remains here. Greater than or equal to mu3 square by mu2 cube. This is nothing but beta 1. This is beta 2. So beta 2 greater than or equal to beta 1. By using the Cauchy square Gini equality and simple manipulation, we can prove that beta 2 greater than or equal to 1 and beta 1, beta 2 greater than or equal to 1 and beta 2 greater than or equal to beta 1. This is, they are asking this proves this inequalities in five marks questions. Okay. In this lecture, we learned about different coefficients alpha, beta, gamma coefficients and the proofs of inequalities based on central moments. Thank you.